to hop over to the Lal Street. It was a flat close though as far as the Indian equity markets are concerned. Uh, it was a volatile session as a whole. The Nifty ended just three points in the red while the Sensex took a 46 point hit. The bank stocks and mid caps mirrored this movement. Anuj Singhal is standing by to take us through the day's trading action. Anuj, after yesterday's stellar run, this comes as a bit of a disappointment. Well, flat day for the market, but considering that we had weak global queues today and policy as well, the bull should be reasonably happy uh, with the outcome. The market's ending flat, but nowhere near the low point of the day. In fact, almost closer to the high point of the day. That, of course, uh, would be seen as a bit positive. Policy is uh, seen as neutral. That's come and gone, of course. And from tomorrow, the market will be focused on some of the other stocks. Realty stocks rallied today, though. That was the key talking point as far as the policy is concerned because banks can now invest in REITs. Uh, now, in terms of uh, big gainers today, or big losers today, rather, we had stocks like ITC, State Bank, and ICICI Bank, Hindalco, Coal India, and Maruti were the other stocks which were down. Maruti, in fact, seeing quite a bit of profit taking. On the gaining side, Ambuja Cement, Tata Steel, Z Entertainment, but really the stock that's powering the market is Reliance. And apart from that, you had Ultratech Cement, Indusind Bank, and BPCL as well on the gaining end. Uh, FNO gainers, DLF, uh, post the policy announcement. Jindal Steel was the top gainer today, up 7%. And also, BHEL rallied big time today. NBFCs were down today, led by Muthut Finance, Ujjivan, and Bharat Financial Inclusion, also down between 3 to 4%. So all in all, uh, mixed day, but you'll have to say that bulls would, feel, would be feeling happy after getting away on a weak global day. Let's see how things resume from tomorrow. All right, we'll leave it at that.